Welcome to IGM Guru. IGM Guru is one of the global leading online training and certification provider for IT expert by the skilled IT gurus to help them achieve their professional goals. My name is Keithy. So I'm a Microsoft certified trainer and I've been delivering trainings uh, for uh, more than five years now. So uh, I, I deliver uh, training on various Microsoft products. Uh, that's uh, Dynamics 365 for Finance and Operations, SQL Server, Power BI, uh, Excel, VBA. So all these uh, you know, are the Microsoft products on which I deliver training on. So I'm a Microsoft Certified Solution Expert. And um, uh, recently I delivered training to GSK in London. Let's start uh, uh, with this. Uh, let me explain you what all uh, that we have in this uh, course that is analyzing data with uh, Power BI. So, you know, uh, Microsoft has this official course, uh, which is 20778B. Uh, and in this, there are total nine modules that we have. Starting with the first one is your Power BI desktop transformations. So, uh, you know, this is where uh, we talk about the basic transformations that is, you know, how we can add uh, a columns into our data source. Basically, uh, when we talk about Power BI, so Power BI is a self-service BI reporting tool. Uh, BI stands for business intelligence. So uh, why we call this as a self-service reporting tool because of its capability, uh, you know, to because of its user-friendly interface that you don't need any IT team to create reports for you. You can uh, create your uh, reports yourself. You don't need to, uh, you know, go into depth of coding to create your reports here. So nobody knows better. I mean, nobody knows data better than you yourself, right? So if somebody else creates it, you first have to explain them that what the data is about. Then you have to explain them the output that what desired outcome you want from this data. And then, um, you know, uh, you'll, you'll be dependent on them to show exactly what you want. But then uh, it's again an overhead. So this Power BI tool reduces that in, so that you, know, you can create your reports yourself as you understand your data better than anybody else. So that's why we call this as a self-service reporting tool. And again, in this tool, we call this as a BI, that is a business intelligence tool. One of the reasons why we call that, any tool is stands for business intelligence tool if it has three features in it. That is integration, analysis, and reporting. So, Power BI has all these three features in it. We are able to integrate our data from multiple data sources. We can, after uh, you know, integrating your data from all these data sources, you can analyze it because whatever you have imported might not be required in the desired outcome. So you might need to process it. You might want to transform it. You might want to give a meaning to it. That's how you can do the analysis on. And after you have made your data meaningful and uh, you know you have already analyzed it, then that's when you can show that data on your visuals. So we have n number of visuals in Power BI. You see some of the visuals on Power BI desktop, but that's not it. You can integrate uh, you know, uh, n number of visuals from uh, Power BI or you know, from Microsoft Marketplace uh, and from third party vendors also. Uh, and uh, you can show those visuals on your reports. So um, at the end, when we are able to integrate, analyze, and create reports on it, that's what uh, we stand this as a Power BI, uh, I mean, business intelligence reporting tool. Uh, and uh, when we talk about Power BI, there are two things. One is your Power BI desktop, and one is Power BI service portal. So uh, I'll come to that topic. I mean, uh, this is what we have in one as one of the topics in our course content. But uh, starting with the first one in this module, we talk about Power BI desktop transformations again we are referring to that what all uh, you know um, why we need power bi desktop what's the need of uh, using this reporting tool over other reporting tools so why is the uh, why is the topic what's discussed here along with some transformations then in module 2 we discuss about power bi desktop modeling this is where you know we have this uh, power bi desktop which is a desktop application wherein we do the integrations or we can do the analysis and we can create our report visuals on. And you know, data, when we talk about modeling, this is where when we have done the integration from our data source, we specify, you know, what kind of uh, relations or what kind of, uh, uh, you know, um, what kind of meaning we want to give to our data. So that's what we define in Power BI desktop modeling. Then we have, Power BI desktop visualization, there then we are going to talk about various visualizations. Uh, I mean, we are going to discuss uh, all those visualizations that is table visuals, matrix visuals, cards, KPIs, 
or your tree map, tag column chart, bar chart. So we have another, we have n number of visuals, uh, you know, when and what kind of visual we should use in our reports. Uh, we are going to discuss that. Then we have Power BI service. So I told you, uh, we have two things. One is your Power BI desktop. Another is your Power BI online portal or your service portal. So, you know, we have features, we have kind of features that we have in desktop application that's not there in online service portal. But Power BI desktop application is like, you know, um, you can compare that with your Excel application. How we use Excel application, if we have got some data, we can do, uh, you know, we can aggregate our data, we can create pivots on it, or we can create uh, charts on that. Same thing we can do on Power BI, but that will be limited to me only. I, I'm not able to, I'm not yet able to share it with anybody else. With Excel, you can, you know, uh, share it on um, SharePoint online portal. You can send an email to anybody to whom you want to share it with. But with Power BI, one of the best feature is that you can share it with your team, with the entire organization. So you can publish your reports in online service portal account. And there are certain workspaces that you can define. That a particular workspace could be defined for your own team, could be defined for the whole organization. And you can publish your reports on that respective workspace. You can, you know, uh, there are so many features there on online service portal as well. You know, once you have created your report, best feature about Power BI is that it automates your reporting. You know, you don't have to go through entire pain of doing the processing or transformation every time you need to, uh, you need to create the same report. So once you have created the structure, once you have defined your model that, okay, this is what you want to create. Next time, whenever the new data comes, whenever, let's suppose a monthly data appears or annual data appears, all you have to do is just refresh your report. You do not need to create the entire reports again and again. It's just a one-time task, one-time job to define the model, to define the transformations. And once you have done that, once you have created your visuals, once you have published it, next time, all you have to do is just refresh for your upcoming data. So, um, so far, any questions from anyone? I have discussed these four modules. I mean, it's just an overview that I'm trying to give you. No, Kriti, not yet. Great. So, uh, in the next module, we have working with Excel. So, uh, you know, in Excel, uh, I mean, in my organization, we have uh, n number of uh, data that's coming in Excel files still today. So, uh, when your data comes in Excel, uh, you might want to integrate that with your Power BI. So, how we do that, how we can merge our data, we may have data coming in various Excel files, you might need to merge your files based on particular condition. So, how we can merge our data, how we can append uh, you know, our um, uh, upcoming data with an existing data, how we can uh, do some transformations using Excel as a data source. So all these will be covered in this uh, fifth module that is working with Excel. And uh, along with that, we will be discussing about DAX as well, that, you know, how we can, how we can use all this. So DAX stands for Data Analysis Expression. Once you have, uh, you know, integrated your data or loaded your data in Power BI Desktop, then after loading any transformation you do that is done by using data analysis expression so it's uh, you know this this is one of the programming language and it's similar to uh, the we have uh, n number of formulas like 200 250 formulas that we have in dax just like we have in excel so it's uh, it's uh, syntax is more or less uh, similar to what we have excel, what we have in excel formulas uh, so here also we have some sum x. We don't have VLOOKUP here, but uh, we have relationships uh, that we define. Uh, so we have again, like I said, in DAX we have n number of formulas that we can use to do the transformations to process your data. No, I'm not going to use only Excel as a data source. I'm going to use uh, you know SQL also because I believe most of you are, are using SQL as one of the data source. Again, I'm going to show you how we can connect with an online, uh, I mean, uh, how you can access your data from web. So 
that's what uh, we are going to take a look at and um, uh, we are going to use excel so if you have any other requirement any other specific uh, source that you want to pick uh, we can take that as well So uh, SAP, you know, I'm afraid that's uh, not there on my system, so I won't be able to uh, let you know. But again, it's kind of a database only. So once you know the connectivity, uh, I believe that should not be an issue while connecting with any other uh, database. So I'll be taking one database that is SQL here. SAP, Hena, like I said, it's again one of the data warehouse database. So uh, that won't be feasible here. Try and use Microsoft BI in the visualization tool. Right. Uh, see, there are n number of reporting tools, and it's not just Power BI that's in the market. We have Tableau, we have QuickView, we have Altrix. So uh, there are so many reporting tools. So why Power BI? I will uh, say that you know, it's there is nothing that you can't do in Tableau and you can't do in Power BI. Of course, uh, there is that uh, there is that symmetry in both of these tools. But one of the reason why organizations are moving towards Power BI, one of the reasons is because of its licensing costs. Uh, Tableau has a huge licensing cost, uh, same as with PQ, as compared to Power BI. And you know, once the organization um, goes for Office 365, they get this Power BI licensing with that. And uh, one of the another reason is this uh, user-friendly interface, because of which most of the organizations are moving towards Power BI as a reporting tool rather than going or picking a separate uh, reporting tool and you know paying a huge licensing fees for that. So uh, that's that's one of the main reason why my organization is uh, uh, you know working on Power BI and I, I've come across various clients till today. This is one of the main reasons why that's happening. And there are uh, um, uh, I mean I won't say with comparison to data source because again with the Tableau and ClickView there are again n number of data sources with which you can connect to. Uh, but here you get the Microsoft uh, support, so it's it's there. You can always uh, you rely on that. Um, and uh, you know, you can uh, you can get uh, Microsoft. And again, there are monthly updates that you get from this uh, Microsoft Power BI reporting tool. So there are new features always adding on, and uh, uh, you know that makes this uh, uh, tool more interactive and more user friendly, better than uh, its previous version. So that's uh, these are the reasons. Right. So. Uh, uh, moving to the next module, that is six, uh, wherein we have organizational content packs, security, and groups. So this is where the need comes to what you have created to share it with your end users. So you know when we talk about Power BI, uh, we have three licenses. Uh, one is again Power BI free; anybody can use that. But again, the limitation is there is only one GB storage space that um, an individual user gets. But uh, then we have Power BI Pro license, and in Power BI Free, you can't share your reports with anyone. It's just like an Excel desktop application. Whatever you do, you keep it to yourself. You can't share it with anybody else. But with Power BI Pro license, uh, you you can share your reports. You can schedule your reports. Uh, and by scheduling, I mean you want your uh, you you have uh, this um, weekly data coming or monthly data coming, and like I said. Whenever your new data comes, all you want to do is just refresh your report. Nobody is going to manually refresh every time. So for that, we just schedule a refresh that, OK, every week at this time, my report should be refreshed so that it automatically picks the updated data. So uh, uh, that's what, again, one of the features that Power BI Pro license provide. So for all these, we need Power BI Pro license. And both sender as well as receiver should have the Power BI Pro license. It's not like if I'm the sender, and um, uh, I want to share it with someone, then I should have the Power BI Pro license. No, but whoever receives it should also have the Power BI Pro license. Then we have Power BI Premium license. Again, it comes with a huge storage space. It's it's uh, one of the differences that with Power BI Pro and Power BI Premium. And another difference is you get the Power BI server. Uh, again, it's uh, it's one of the on-premise server that we have, and uh, it can be used. So um, one of the features, uh, one of the key difference between uh, Power BI Pro and Power BI Premium license is that 
then uh, the next module uh, that we have here is uh, your direct connectivity so you know uh, we have our um, uh, ssas that is sql server analysis services so uh, the next that we have is our um, uh, module 7 which is about direct connectivity so when we talk about direct connectivity this is where we want to connect uh, uh, with you know uh, our real time data and when i say real time data that means we are not uh, importing our data in power bi but whereas we keep our data in data source only but uh, only you know uh, the trans i mean only the processing or the transformations that's what we keep in our power bi desktop so the data stays in data source but whenever uh, you know there are certain calculations or transformation that's been done it picks its data from the data source and then it's mod it transforms that data and is being depicted on the reporter visuals it does not import or keep a um, you know a data file within power bi desktop so that's that's one of the key features uh, that's there we are going to discuss about it in this module then we have developer api uh, so i'm not sure um, how much relevant would that this be but in this i'm going to give you an overview about uh, how you can integrate your uh, power bi with the, any other application or with any other um, you know um, if if there is any let's suppose i have my own website i have my own organization i want to integrate power bi dashboard with it right so in that case you need to create apis and you need to link those apis with your website so uh, with this we need to have a little bit programming concept uh, in order to create apis but then i'm going to give you an overview here so we are going to discuss uh, how we can uh, we can create and integrate it with the uh, other application if you're interested uh, then give me a heads up i'll let you know uh, in one of the examples uh, how we can integrate then um, we have power bi mobile app so you know it's it's um, uh, uh, need of the art because we spend more most of our time on phone only on our cell phone so we want everything on phone uh, right so power bi is again one of the apps that's uh, there on um, our phone also so we have it for various operating system it's for windows it's for android it's for it's for uh, uh, ios also that's for apple so you know uh, it's it's whatever dashboards whatever reports has been shared with you or you are, you have created you can easily see that on your phone so okay let's suppose you have this weekly report coming and you get to know that okay this data is not being refreshed you can take a look at your phone and you can see that okay there is something wrong with it because it's showing the previous week data and uh, you know you, you can give a call to your uh, team and just uh, you know uh, give them a call and ask them that, that okay this is this report is not being refreshed so what's wrong with it you can you can just get to know in a in a uh, infraction of seconds that you know whether your data is updated or not whether it's being shared with someone or not whether it's been scheduled or not so uh, again it's it's one of the best feature again for power bi to have it have this uh, you know uh, availability on phone so we are going to discuss about that so um, so far if you have any question please feel free to ask so again uh, one more thing i'd like to add here uh, when we discussed about this uh, you know power bi desktop modeling in this i'm also going to include uh, you know uh, when we when we do, when we do the integration with our data source whenever we do any transformations that's restricted to our uh, uh, power bi itself it's not going to change anything in your source data so for example i want to i want i don't want certain columns to be added in my power bi report so i want i might want to remove that data but that data will not be removed from my source it will only be removed from my uh, power bi uh, desktop only so you know whatever changes whatever transformations that you do it will be restricted only to your power bi desktop not to your source yeah so that's there uh, then uh, when we uh, when we have integrated we might want to do some transformations and uh, uh, we might want to include the power query um, transformations so you know um, we whenever we have loaded our data i mean not loaded whenever we have done the integration with our data source there are two things one is power query editor and another is power query desktop so you know whenever you make any transformations on um, source data so we do using m query and that is using power query editor so i've used two languages here one is m and another is dax m is used in power query editor when you make changes on your source data before loading in power bi desktop but once you have loaded then the transformations that you do you do that using dax 
so uh, here it might be a little confusing but this is what uh, i'm also going to cover uh, so just giving you a heads up that this will be covered in uh, um in this course as well so uh, guys i believe i've given an overview from my end um, if you have any question again uh, please feel free to ask and um, if you have any topic any uh, any um, anything that you would like to add here uh, please uh, give me a heads up all right so uh, thanks guys uh, thanks everyone thanks for watching the video for full course please visit www.igmguru.com and enroll today